What's good, Cancers? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let's see what energy is coming towards you guys. All right. Um, this is a general reading. But if this message does happen to resonate with you, you can book the extended version. Okay. You can book the extended version. That information will be in the drop box below. Okay. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to click that bell to subscribe so you can get all of the content, okay? So you won't miss out on any of the content, baby, because you don't want to miss out, period, boo. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what energy is coming towards my cancers. This energy is from now up until the beginning of March, but whenever you view it, that's when you are meant to see it, okay? It could be after March, it could be after February, whenever you view it, that's when it was meant for you to see, okay? So let's see what energy is coming towards you, Cancers. What energy is coming towards my Cancers? This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Cancers. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's see. Sun, moon, and rising cancers. What message is there for cancers? Cancers, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, at the bottom of the deck, Cancers, I got the Three of Cups. Okay, Three of Cups. So you could be socializing. Okay, you could be a part of a group. There, it could be like a social circle or some type of group that you are a part of, okay? Or you could just be being more social. You could be hanging out more. You could be uh, partying, drinking, celebrating, okay? Or you could just be around some friends, right? Okay? But I'm just picking up on that there is this competitiveness energy, okay? Be careful who you're calling your friends, okay? Because I'm picking up that there is competitiveness energy, competition on who's the best, okay? Who's the best? We got the nine of pentacles in reverse, okay? When she's upright, she is all of that, okay? The energy is most definitely independent. I can do this. I got all my ducks in a row. But when she's in the reverse, you know, you more so have to concentrate on getting these pentacles back, getting back to yourself, okay? When she's upright, she's all about herself. She is working on herself, okay? Nine of pentacles in reverse is kind of the opposite energy, okay? We got the five of wands. Is there a battle here? Some conflict? Some competitiveness energy? There's a lot of people around here and they're just battling. Like, it's just a battle. Okay? We got the emperor. Who's the top boss? <laughs> Who's the top dog now? Okay? That's the energy that I'm getting. Okay? Boss. Who's in control? Who's running things? Competing for a position of authority. And a final decision being made, okay? A final decision being made here with this judgment card. All right, so why is the five of wands here for cancers, please? Okay, four of swords. So someone is tired of the conflict. Someone's tired of being in conflict. Maybe you're tired of being in conflict with someone, okay? You're ready to come out of conflict, 
or you're tired of feeling like you have to compete. Okay, this could be with someone from the past. Someone from your past could you could feel like you're in competition with Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Hmm. I feel like you want to collaborate with this person more so. You're waiting for them to reach out to collaborate with you, to work with you, to be on the same page with you. Instead of competing with you. Okay. Why is the emperor here? You could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. But this is definitely like someone who is very dominant. Someone who's kind of stubborn and stuck in their ways. And a little controlling as well. Why is the, why is the emperor here? Seven of swords. Taking control. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like you're waiting for for a situation to turn sour. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm getting that there's this negative energy around. You could be dealing with the Capricorn as well. And the communication with this person, this person could be coming off rude, okay? So you're like, okay, well, guess what? I'm going to move out your way and we'll see how this goes. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Maybe this person is a liar, is manipulative, is controlling. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Eight of Cups. Somebody's trying to sneak off. Your intuition may be telling you to trust. You feel like you need to trust your intuition. Okay. Maybe someone needs to apologize to someone about how they hurt them. Ooh, out of spite. Ooh, somebody hurt somebody out of spite here. Most definitely. And somebody's regretting this, okay. Hmm. Maybe you guys need to apologize to someone for hurting someone out of spite. I can definitely see that it was bla it was malicious and it was out of spite. Or someone did this to you, Cancer. But the the whole thing of it is somebody hurt somebody out of spite and there needs to be an apology. Okay, someone could have been being very stuck up, you know, on their high horse. You're tired of being in com conflict with this person. And you may feel like this person may be trying to sneak off or get away without apologizing. There was a big shakeup. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There was some big shakeup here, okay? Somebody let their guard down and this person walked all over them. Why is judgment here? So maybe you're trying to stay in control. Because you don't want, you're afraid to let your guard down. Because when you did let your guard down, this person was playing games, okay? And walking all over you. I feel like you could be tired of being in conflict with this person. You're ready to come out of conflict. Why is judgment card here? Mm. Something isn't completely over, though. And someone doesn't want to apologize either. Someone doesn't want to communicate. Someone's waiting for someone to, you know, ooh, we got a spy. Somebody is spying. Whether you spying on them or they're spying on you. Moon and the Page of Swords. Definitely a spy. 
Maybe you decide that you're not giving them any more chances. Hmm. But I feel like y'all are watching someone. Why is the death card in reverse? It's definitely not over. <laughs> it's not over. You could be dealing with Scorpio. Mm. Like, make up your mind. I feel like you could be losing hope for the situation, but you love this person. You just aren't getting what you want out of the situation. You just aren't getting fulfilled. You know, you aren't getting emotionally fulfillment from this situation. But I feel like you're backing down. You're losing hope in the situation. Like you may feel like, you know, I'm going to make this decision, this final decision. But then again, you feel like, you know, sometimes you feel tough and then sometimes you don't. You lose that. Okay. Your intuition is telling you, you know, your intuition is telling you to take some type of risk. Why is the seven of wands in reverse? I feel like you you backing down from this situation. Why is the night of the seven of wands in reverse? Or you could be feeling like, you know, I'm not gonna back down. I'm not gonna back down. This is making my final decision. Why is the seven of wands here in reverse? Okay. You've decided not to communicate with this person. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay. Hmm. A hangman in reverse. Definitely watching. Okay, you're you're definitely watching this person. You could be watching their social media, whatever it is. You you guys are keeping an eye on somebody, and I feel like you're coming out of this stagnant energy, and you're wanting them to take some type of action, or you're taking action. But I feel like the communication is being cut off. Okay, some type of communication is being cut off. You're waiting for them to come back around or waiting for them to call you or reach out to you. You're tired of this back and forth, this arguing. Why is the four of swords here? You're taking a break. You're on a break period. Yeah. You regret investing so much into this. Okay. You regret in investing so much. Why is the Five of Cups in reverse? Yeah, King of Pentacles. You invested a lot. Okay. You invested a lot into this. But your intuition is telling you to take some type of risk. Okay. Your intuition, or you could just be feeling like a fool. Okay. Your intuition, you feel like you moved blindly um, into this and you've invested a lot. And you ended up wounded, okay? And you may feel like you need to take control of the situation by walking away. I feel like you don't want to give out any second chances. Um, and you've cut off communication with this person. What message do we got for my cancers? I feel like y'all cutting somebody off. Time to cut them 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 off. All right, let's see. What message is there for cancers? Trust the niggle. Which is trusting your intuition, baby. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Okay. How can you mother yourself? Oh, yeah, it's time to take care of you. Okay, it's time to be more, put that nurturing, that nurturing energy into yourself. Okay, it's time to put that energy into yourself. It's time to jump into that empress energy. Okay, calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Okay, you call your people. Get in contact with your people to help you get through this challenging time. Um, if you, you know, have certain people that you know that you can trust and talk to about whatever issues that are bothering you, do that. Okay, that's your tribe. But most definitely, 
okay? You guys, <laughs> do something to change your energy. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy, okay? It's time to get out of this space and do something new, okay? Do something different. Do something different. Until they learn how to appreciate you, okay? All right, my loves. If you would like to book the extended version to this reading, that information is in the drop box below, okay? Until next time, ciao for now.